Hi, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Um, today, as you can see by the title, we are doing my morning stretch routine. I've really been loving starting my day with a warm up and some stretches to make me feel invigorated and awake before I start the day. I usually play some worship music as I do this as well, um, but I'll let you choose whichever music you want to listen to, if any. Um, and I like some candles too because it makes it really soothing and peaceful, but I will let you decide whether you want to do that too. Uh, it's pretty simple and toned down today, so you can follow along and, yeah, start your day with me. Let's go. So to begin with, I want you to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and turn your head to the right as you take some deep breaths. And then chin to chest, breathing deeply, and then looking over that left shoulder, making sure your shoulders are back and down, nice long neck as you tilt your head back and reach your chin to the ceiling, taking deep breaths in and out. Then we're going to tip our head to the right, pressing the ear to the shoulder. Not lifting the shoulder to the ear though. Those shoulders are nice and back and low. And on the other side. And back to centre as we do some shoulder rolls. Shoulders going up and back as we breathe deeply, keeping good posture, heels firmly planted, core engaged, as you take some deep breaths, and back the other way, getting as wide a range of motion as you can in the shoulders. And then we're going to bring our arms up, reach up nice and tall as we come up onto our tiptoes and forward, doing some nice big circles. So really doing that classic morning stretch. Deep breath and exhale as your arms come down in front of you. Big circles, now the other way, arms in front, reaching up towards the ceiling nice and tall and back as we exhale. And again, arms in front, reaching nice and tall on your tiptoes and back. Then we're going to lace the fingers, push the hands out in front. So we stretch up and let the weight of your head carry you over to the right side as you feel that stretch down the side of your body, through your obliques, through your shoulder. Feet nice and planted, coming straight over the side, not leaning forward or back. And back to center. Deep breath in and exhale as you allow the weight of your head to carry you over to the other side. Can you feel that stretch? Feels good, right? And back to center. And then we're going to stretch forward and allow the weight of your head to carry you over the front as you feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Try not to be excessive with this stretch, just sway from side to side, bending each leg, alternating as you just work through those hamstrings and feel that stretch. Doesn't matter if you can't touch the floor. And then we're going to crouch down and do the same thing. Balancing with your hands, twisting side to side as you feel that nice stretch in the hips and the ankles and the feet. So this is pretty flexible, by the way, guys, so whatever you're feeling, just go with that. Then we're going to bring the bum back up into the air as we turn from side to side, feeling that nice dynamic stretch throughout the hamstrings. Deep breaths, even in this position waking up the body. Then we're going to come down onto our 
hands and knees and I want you to just move your knees out wider than hip width apart and let the feet point towards each other hands out in front sitting back pushing the hips back as we feel that stretch in the inner thigh and leaning forward to intensify that stretch and I just want you to rock back and forth here wherever you feel comfortable listen to your body I know that sounds weird <laughs> but really listen to your body and just alternate front and back you'll really feel a good stretch in the inner thighs opening up those hips a really good uh, stretch if you do a lot of squatting as well you can also stretch the head and neck if you feel still a bit tight in the shoulders completely up to you just take some deep breaths and then if you bring your knees together until they're about hip width apart we're going to do some cat and cow poses so starting with the cat pose and then into the cow pose so essentially you want your hands under your shoulders knees under your hips bring your chin to your chest as you arch the back making a c shape for the cat pose and then push your chest towards the floor as you reverse that chin up and feel that stretch and reverse again And then we're going to bring the hips back as we reach our fingertips out in front of us, really elongating the upper body and take some deep breaths. I love this pose, it's so peaceful. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out and then come back forward. I want you to take your right leg and cross it over in front of you. And reach up as you feel that stretch in the outer thigh of the right leg. And then bring your body down and intensify that stretch. The leg crossed over the front of the body. Taking some nice deep breaths. And back up, chest nice and high, shoulders down. Feel that stretch in the outer thigh. And then we're going to swap over onto the other leg cross the leg over in front of you try and keep your hips facing forward as much as you can other legs stretched out behind you chest nice and lifted and then we're going to reach down so that we're lying on the floor with that leg crossed over in front of us feeling that twist and that stretch in the outer thigh and back up Well done. And we're going to come back to our hands and knees. And just stretch it out a little more, tipping from side to side on the knees. Feeling that stretch in the glutes. Just leaning into the side to really exaggerate that stretch. Taking the weight of your body in your hands. Now we're going to come back up to centre. And I want you to put your right leg out in front of you in a lunge position. And we're just going to hold that there. I don't want you to over lunge to begin with. Just try and keep the integrity of the core. Squeeze your glutes if that helps. I don't want you to have an excessive arch in the lower back. We want to feel the stretch in the front of the leg that is on the floor behind you. Then we're going to come over onto our side, into a side lunge and stretch out the inner thighs. So we're going to alternate the lunge on the front with the side lunge. Just pressing into that bent leg as you feel the stretch. And then back into the lunge position. Squeezing the glutes. Pushing the hips forward. Not arching your lower back, but keeping the core nice and tight. So you intensify that stretch in the quads. And then shift it back over onto the side lunge as you open up the hips and stretch the inner thighs. And then back into the front lunge, 
pushing a little bit further this time as we lean the hips forward. And then I want you to put your hands in front of you by your foot and just shift the hips back as we get a really intense stretch in the hamstrings in front, pointing the toes. Deep breath here and just let the weight of the head carry you over that leg. If you want to intensify it a bit more, just flex up that foot, point it towards the ceiling, really feeling that stretch throughout the hamstrings and the calf and the foot. I like this one. <laughs> and just listen to your body. You can point the foot from side to side, wherever's feeling a bit tight, as we come back forward into that lunge position. And if you want to intensify the stretch in the quads, just try and keep your balance as you grab hold of your foot. Bring the back foot towards your back and bum. Make sure that your weight isn't directly on your kneecap, but more just in front of the kneecap. Well done. Then we're going to come onto the other side. So lunging forward. Remember, don't start too intense. Be gentle to begin with. Deep breaths in and out. As you push the hips forward, let your weight carry you forward into the stretch. Keeping the core nice and tight. Not overarching the lower back and then we're going to switch and alternate with that side lunge position to get that stretch in the inner thigh. Taking some nice deep breaths as you do this. Just listen to your body. You can shuffle it around as you're there wherever it's comfortable. And back into the lunge. Pushing a little bit further this time. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the core tight. Try and edge that knee on the ground a bit further back. Going a bit further each time. And then we're going to alternate with the side lunge again, feeling that stretch in the inner thigh. You can push your knee out with your elbow if you want. And then back to the lunge again. A little bit further each time. And hands by your foot in front. You're going to lean the hips back and round the head down over the knee in front feeling that intense stretch in the hamstrings and the calves and bring that foot up flex the foot up pointing towards the ceiling again listen to your body wherever it's feeling tight maybe focus on that spot you can shift the hips a bit as well if that helps i tend to shift the hips to the right a bit because i've got a bit of a tight spot on my left hamstring at the moment so i like to intensify the stretch in that direction and then lunging forward again further than you've been if you want to grab hold of the foot keep your balance engage your core make sure the weight isn't going directly on that knee behind but just on the at the end of the thigh squeeze the glutes feel the stretch in the quads and relax <laughs> Then we're going to come down into a seated position and I want you to stretch both legs out in front of you and just reach as far as you can. You don't have to touch your toes and it can be your calves, ankles, wherever you can reach to comfortably and just round down the head over the legs. Again, just see how you feel. Uh, flex your feet, move them about, put your chin to your chest, get a nice nerve stretch there. You can roll your head side to side. I'm just going to really play as we increase that motion. And bring your feet back towards you. You're going to get a nice inner thigh stretch. I want you to sit up with your knees out beside you, holding the legs. You can use your elbows to push those knees out as far towards the ground as you can. <laughs> this isn't my best stretch as you can see, but um, that's okay, we're working on it. So shoulders back, deep breaths in this pose. 
once we feel the stretch and then we're going to hold on to your legs wherever you can reach and just back into that nice hamstring stretch going a little bit further this time with the head towards the knees reaching a little bit further down your legs pointing the toes and flexing as you feel led <laughs> That's really good. And we're going to alternate again as we bring the feet together back towards the hips. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back. You can push down the knees beside you to really get that inner thigh stretch as close to the floor as you can. But keeping the integrity of the spine there, sat up nice and tall deep breaths as we go and we're going to stretch back out reaching a little bit further this time as the head comes as close to the legs as we can pointing the toes to the ceiling to intensify that stretch and try and think of getting your chest to your legs as well to really keep the integrity the stretch especially in the hamstrings then we're going to bring one leg out to the side it's so kind of like an L shape as far as you can you might feel the stretch even just sitting in this position that's okay if you just need to sit in that position that's fine but if you feel comfortable just round down the upper body over the leg in front again flexing and pointing the foot as you feel comfortable feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and in the lower back and in the quads of the leg behind as well depending on your flexibility in that area and sit back up nice and tall feel that stretch and then we're just going to bring the bent leg foot to the thigh of the other leg and we're going to round down again over the leg in front feeling that stretch more intensely now in the lower back but still in the hamstrings as well can you feel it? It's a good one. Easing out that hamstring. And then we're going to switch onto the other leg. So in the L position again, the bent leg goes back behind you. Straight leg in front of you. Take a deep breath as we reach over that front leg. Try and think of bringing your chest to the leg, really keeping the integrity of the stretch there. Play around with it, move around with it, wherever you feel comfortable. I mean, I'm, I'm very fluid with this stretch routine. I'm sure it changes slightly every day, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on where it's tight. If you can't reach the toe, that's absolutely fine. Just reach as far as you can and hold it there, doing some nice deep breaths, feeling the stretch. And back up to centre, deep breath, and then switch that bent leg around and reach forward again as we stretch out the back, the hamstrings, the hips. Well done, doing really well. And again, just listening to your body, wherever's tight, wherever needs a little longer, feel free to take a little longer. You don't have to do it in the exact same timing that I'm doing it in. And back up to centre. We're going to come onto our feet and just crouch down here. And just moving those ankles back and forth, raising up onto our tippiest toes and back to an almost flat foot as we stretch out the feet and the ankles and we're going to lift the hips up and bend each leg alternating as we breathe deeply feeling that mobile stretch and then come up vertebrae by vertebrae take a deep breath in as you stretch up and we're done ready to start the day Thanks so much for stretching with me, you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know how you found it in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.